Is my sister ignorant, a psycho, or am I a bridezilla? Ooh. Hmm. I'm getting married soon, and my little sister sent me pictures of two dresses she liked. One being light grey, and the other blush. Pretty much white to me. Not only that, but our dress code is cocktail slash semi-formal, and one dress is floor length, and the other is a high-low dress. Pictures attached. Don't worry, we'll get on to it. <laughs> and far too dressy for our wedding. I'm not sure if she's plain ignorant to wedding dress colours or if she's been purposely malicious. I always had the feeling she was way too lovey-dovey with my fiancé and even with our baby. Examples. <laughs> Walked around pantless with just an oversized hoodie when we would visit. Trying to steer him in the direction of complimenting her. For example, do you think I've lost weight? Do you think I look good? Etc. Has directly told me she thinks he's cute while drunk. <laughs> Acting way too motherly with our daughter. Coming up with her own pet name saying my baby. And talking about how she would love to have my life. Yes, I'm not exaggerating. She's the baby of the family and princess. So you can guess she's spoiled and doesn't like being told no. I'm not sure what to say or do. But I honestly feel like screaming at her. Right, so we'll put the dresses up so you can see them. So what do you think? I would completely stay away from them colours, number yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, white and pretty much yeah, the, white. Yeah. 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 You go in, oh, it's grey and blush. It's like white and white. Pretty much yeah. <laughs> the varying shades of white. But yeah, it's too close. And uh, the well rule number one, close. you don't even go anywhere near the colour white. No. Nope. Not at all. No. Nope. Stay away. And yeah. then for like the other part. Oh, <laughs> walking pantless around with just a jumper I, when they come round. Yeah, is it pantless? Is an American pantless? Yeah, so yeah. I don't think yeah. she's yeah. got like vagina out on that. I was like, Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> hello, <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> hi. Um, your sister's weird. Hey, sister. <laughs> <laughs> she's just been needing. She's a bit close. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit. I think if. If like, I'd come to you when I was drunk, like, oh, Chris is really cute. You are cute, by the I way. Know. You're Thank very you. handsome, and I've, I've said that openly. You're very I said handsome. I know that one. Like, proper, <laughs> I know. A I proper know. bag then. I don't, I I don't think that, by the way. I but thank you. Wait, if I kept saying stuff to like, oh, yeah, it's really, it's really cute, you'd be like, all right. I'd be like, yeah. give it a rest. Calm down. My husband, okay. <laughs> I know. That's, but yeah. It when, is bold, that when, is. when she said, oh, she's like the baby of the family, I was kind of like, is she one that's been like molly coddled? Yeah. And, yeah. and oh, you're the little baby of the family. You mm -hmm. get what you want kind of thing. So... I kind of feel like maybe that's why she's like, oh, my baby. Oh, I oh. Want, I'd like your life. Sounds like she's trying thing. to like but <laughs> get in the place of a sister. Yeah. Like she's like, I want to be like where you are. So I'm just going to like try my hardest to do that. I know it's nice Proper to psycho have. psycho shit that, isn't <laughs> <Yeah. it? laughs> I wish I was you. <laughs> All right. um, I get if she wants like the family unit and she wants yeah. a baby. Totally get that. But I think her choice of words are a little yeah. bit suspicious. Yeah, it yeah. does sound like she's trying to come on to the fiancé to like break that marriage up so she can just step in. Which yeah. is so weird that from a weird. sibling, isn't it? Like, Sibling's uh, going to be like checking food and stuff, make sure it's not poison. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> like, <laughs> when she gives her a drink, she's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. It, I think it is so much weirder from like a sibling, you know, rather than it being maybe like your best mate or something yeah. that's got a crush on your fella and you're like... Well, I'm I'm clearly angry and annoyed about it, but there's no blood relation there. Yeah. And yeah. It, I think it is just that next level of oddness to be like, well, you're my sister, yeah. but you keep slipping in these little yeah. sly, like, yeah. oh, he's really cute. Oh, I'm making pet names for the baby that oh. no one else calls it. I'd be like, oh. Creepy, innit? <laughs> So I don't, I, she's not being the bridezilla there no, at all. No, I think oh, she's well within no, her rights to be no. like... She is a different dress, bro. Yeah, she <laughs> a different dress and back up. Yeah, back off! <laughs> so this next one is a trigger warning. It's on a sensitive subject of the loss of a child. So if you don't want to listen to it, you can skip to the next story. So with my wedding, were you still coming? Because I was thinking maybe you shouldn't. Like, I don't mean to be harsh, but I thought you'd be over what happened by now. But you cried today just because some lady had a baby. It's just a bit dramatic. And lots of people don't know yet because apparently you aren't ready to tell people. 
I think if you don't tell people, you shouldn't come. Like, I'm trying to be as nice about this as I can, but everyone will be asking why you aren't pregnant, and I don't want them to, to feel distracted from making me feel special. What happened sucks, but I thought you'd had long enough to get over it so it wouldn't be a problem. Like, maybe you could announce it on Facebook so people know. Uh, okay, I need a minute to process what the fuck you just said to me. So this is a bride, so... Uh... One of bridesmaids or a guest or something. Yeah, there. this is either a guest or a bridesmaid. Sounds shit already. Yeah. Don't take it the wrong way. You know I'm right and you just need to move on. I want my <laughs> wedding to be about me. I don't want it ruined by you. No offense. You would do the same. If you don't want to announce it, then just don't come. Okay, let me get this straight. You don't want me at your wedding because the fact that my baby fucking died might ruin your day. Like, I just want to make sure I have this right. Because if it's what you're saying, that is just super fucked up, dude. As in, don't worry about me being at the wedding because we won't be friends. So I just want to make sure I understand. I mean, that's not how I said it. Okay, so what did I get wrong? You're twisting my words. I just want to be the most important person on the day. And if people see you're not pregnant, they will ask. And then it will take the attention away from me. I just thought you could announce it now, so by the wedding, no one will talk about it. I don't think it's such a hard thing to do. You know what? You enjoy your wedding without me. I hope our friendship is worth all the attention you so desperately need. You giant trash pile of a human. You were being silly, but okay. Like, what is so wrong with wanting to make sure my day is about me? If you think we can't be friends because I want to be the most important person on the day and don't want th people thinking about you at all, then I guess we can't be friends. And you're being really selfish. It's been two months. How much time do you really need? And it's not like you knew her. Wow. And I just don't want the focus to be on you. So I think you announcing it is a fair way everyone focuses on you and not later on in my day. Yeah, we're done. Holy shit, I can't believe you. You think I give a fuck about attention on me. She was my baby. How fucking dare you? Seriously glad I found out you were trash. Now I don't have to waste any more time speaking to you. Tell your partner I'll see him at the divorce party. I have no words for that. How know. insensitive. That's one of the most horrible things yeah, I've wilder. ever listened to, I think. That's awful. Is that too much? Is that too easy to put out? I or? don't know. I feel like let it's... us know if it is too. We'll put it out, but then let us know underneath if it is too much, and we should avoid these ones. Yeah. So I feel like this one's really like. Yeah, horrible. it's really, really sensitive, and it's really, really nasty. What? How? Yeah, I, I, how? Are, how are, are these people like alive and kicking and getting through life? Do just, you know what I mean? Just announce like, it on Facebook. Yeah. Oh, but I was saying like, oh, you've had two months. Yeah, get over it. It uh, could take two years, 20 years to yeah, get over it. It could take an absolute lifetime. Something like that. You Therapy, the, <sighs> anything. Do you know what I mean? You might never get over something like that. Yeah. It might just be mm. one of those things that despite trying, yeah. despite all your efforts, you just can't get over it. And I cannot empathize with that woman more, but for the bride to just make it i'm like surely this isn't real people don't do this do they I know. to friends <sighs> it's one of them where you just like the person is like you say just absolutely trash and brides yeah. don't really cover it it needs to be like a bride to the like it's a whole new category for this sort of bridezilla. Yeah. Because you get like trivial ones like oh wearing white or you know yeah. what i mean but for like this one i'm like I think Bridezilla don't go far enough. No, no it doesn't. just utter like scum of the earth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This scumzilla. This scumzilla, yeah. Scumzilla. yeah. That's still not enough. I don't know. It's we need to think of a word for like people not. that are beyond Bridezillas. And I genuinely think like how the back and forth went as well. I thought the lady that was replying to these ridiculous, like, didn't go as wild no. as like no. I kind of think she should have done. She felt very composed and like, yeah, good for well, her. Well, okay, our friendship's clearly over then. When yeah. she was like, "Oh, you twisting my words," I'm like, "It's literally written down, you dick." Yeah, yeah. So she written. I, fair play for the person because obviously this is leaked online. Um, for point it up. Yeah, yeah. For point it up because that person then obviously I'm sure people will know who the you know in the close circle of them. 
yeah. will know who the bride is and stuff. I'm like, yeah. it's just wild. Should, wild. Should be ashamed. Yeah, absolutely ashamed. disgusting. Yeah. yeah. My fiance is six foot. Let's get that out of the way. So am I. She <laughs> She's not insecure <laughs> about it. The opposite, actually. She kind of has a superiority complex about it. One of her college friends, Lexi, is 5'1". The rest of her friend group is 5'4 to 5'8". So both Lexi and my fiancé stick out when they take photos together. Her friend group are also her bridesmaids. Yesterday, my fiancé came to me and told me that she was thinking of demoting Lexi from the wedding party because she takes attention away from my fiance in the photos <sighs> and wanted my help thinking up an excuse that wouldn't damage her friendship with Lexi. Heightest. <laughs> <laughs> I asked her if she was serious and she said that she was. I tried to gently explain that friendship and happiness are more important than aesthetics, but she wouldn't listen. Eventually, I got fed up and told her, Hannah, I love you, but you're being a bridezilla. Lexi has been your friend for more than a decade and you want to exclude her for something she not only has no control over, but also something so superficial as the way she looks. You could gently ask her to wear higher heels, I guess, but completely cutting her out of your wedding party is, heart party is heartless. I don't know how you're not seeing it. We can have whoever you want in the wedding party, but if you demote Lexi, I'm going to have to reconsider if you're really the type of woman I want to marry. Wow. She accused me of emotional blackmail and left for her mum's place. Now she's giving me the silent treatment and her mum texted me a scathing rant because I made her cry. So am I the arsehole here? Okay, so this is the fiancé that's putting this out about yeah the bride yes. yeah yeah right yeah 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 i i don't think they're being an asshole at all i feel like removing someone due to something they can't help is discrimination yeah yeah i'd, I'd say that it's i don't think you could take it to a tribunal really? but I'm, like, <laughs> I'm sure that's like discriminating against like it's just, quite just if she's five one it doesn't matter yeah five one and then six foot and they're just she's just like well i'm demoting them yeah and i'm like i on on but just because it's going to look slightly odd in a photo. I just don't understand why you care that much about how that photo looks. It's two people that you know and like. So yeah, what, yeah it doesn't matter. What difference does it make if they're like not perfectly the same height? This is where I get confused, I think, with weddings. Because I'm like, what is it that's important to you? Is it the fact of having your family and friends there? Or is it Aesthetic. just the way it yeah. looks? Because yeah. it, more and more stories that I read just feels like... It's a day to look good and for everything else to look good. And I'm like, it's not about the love or the friendship. Or it's doing it for no. the gram, man. Yeah. Get them likes for the gram. Everything has to be <laughs> aesthetically pleasing so strangers like it. I think like if she's so bothered about her being a little bit smaller and her husband being taller, just I'm sure the photographer can just be like, oh, put her at the end. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, as a ways, yeah. Means yeah. Both it, sit down or something. Yeah. yeah it doesn't sit matter. Everyone yeah. sit down. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah bri I think she's been a bride's yeah, I think has. He definitely took it to town though. Like, yeah. He really went for it. Like, yeah. I'm like, that's... Seen a different side of her. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, like, it's interesting. I do like it though, because I do think, you know, if... If you really are like in love with each other and a team, then it's kind of like on you as a partner to pull up your partner when yeah. they are being, you a know, dick. like, yeah, yeah. If you're like, well, hang on a minute, I really don't agree with what you're doing. I think that is a healthy relationship. Yeah. yeah. And at no point did I think you went too far by saying you're being a bit of a bridezilla because I'm like, well, you've been friends for a decade with this yeah. person. Yeah. And the only reason you're excluding it isn't because of something she's done or said or anything like that. It's because she's short. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, that's really tight. Yeah, and for her to go to her mom and she's like, oh, he's upset me. Oh, like, God. he looks like the bad guy now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. And all he's done is just try to, like, make her not be a knob. Yeah. 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 Just go, Whoa, that's your friend there. Bridezilla. Yeah. Bridezilla. Bridezilla. That's it for this week, everyone. If you could like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications, that would be awesome. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.